Skywalkers and Michael Jackson fans, welcome back to another video, and today is going to be my top 5 favorite Michael Jackson tours of all time. So today's video is actually a collaboration between me and Jacob Wells MJ. He's a really, really cool Michael Jackson child impersonator and has a lot of really cool Michael Jackson videos on his YouTube channel, so I'll leave the link to his channel in the description and yeah, I'll let him take it away. Yo guys, what is going on? It's Jacob Wells MJ here to collab with um, the Smooth Criminal. So yes, in this video, like I said, I will be collabing with the Smooth Criminal and with some of our uh, favorite MJ tours and performances, well slash performances. Now on my channel, I do a lot of MJ stuff, yes. I show some of my past, present, and some of my future upcoming performances like clips and trailers. And so if anyone wants a shout out on my channel, I will be happy to do so. So yeah, so let's get right into the video. So at number five is Yes, at number five we have the Victory Tour. Now the Victory Tour is Michael Jackson's last tour with his brothers. Um it was also a promotional tour for their last album titled Victory. Now the Victory Tour was the first tour that Michael did the moonwalk in it. Um, yeah, but still when I watched, the first time I watched it, I, I thought it was just like the Motown tour, but it was pretty fun to watch. Yeah, the, the mo like the sequin clothes he was wearing. And um, you know how in the Beat It video, uh, he's wearing that like squiggly red and blue white shirt, black. Yeah, he, so he wore a sequin version of that for Billie Jean. And then he wore the Billie Jean jacket. And did Billie Jean. Yeah, I just like Billie Jean. The show has a lot of really, really cool moments. The beginning with the sword and the stone is absolutely brilliant. And I absolutely love this everything about it. This was after about 1025. Michael Jackson was huge during this era. And... You know, overall, I just I really, really love the overall feel of this Jackson's era. Seems really, really cool. And number four we have. <laughs> yes, yeah, so number four we have the Madison Square Garden 30th anniversary concert. Now this technically isn't a tour, but I've, it, it's it's so awesome. I had to include it. I really like like the 30th anniversary there's like a bunch of other like actors and singers and um thing about bobbers thing about jiggy my bobbers <laughs> i can't believe i laugh at my own jokes hmm that's just sad the madison square garden performance took place on there's two performances one took place on september 7th and the other took place on september 10th of 2001. this happened during the invincible era and i really 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 like this show Starts off with a bunch of tribute performances, you know, from a ton of other legends and artists from paying tribute to Michael. And then we finally get a solo set. Starts out with the Jackson 5, reuniting for the very first time, coming together. Um, for the first time in, like, what, 30 years, they come back together? And they come on stage, they do a whole set, and then it's Michael's solo set. He does a few songs, he does Beat It, Black or White, um, and he ends off with Billie Jean. At number three, we have... The Dangerous Tour. Okay, now Michael is actually very good at singing in the Dangerous Tour. Singing is way, way better than all the other tours, in my opinion. Like, he's giving out all of his effort, like, all out his shouting, all of his screaming out. And I really like that. He got, he got every tone on the exact note. Um, but yeah, um, danger, the Dangerous Tour, Michael was really good at singing, in my opinion. Of course, the iconic opening when Michael pops up out of the stage. He just stands there for like two minutes doing nothing, and the crowd just goes wild. The tour has a lot of really iconic moments, especially at the end when he flies off in the jetpack. Awesome. And yeah, overall, a really, really good concert. I especially love some of the performances um, during Working Day and Night. I, Working Day and Night is probably the best it's ever been during the Dangerous Tour. I love that. Billie Jean? 
is amazing on this tour as well. Probably one, of, probably one of, if not one of the best Billy G performances he ever gave was during the Dangerous Tour. And overall, you know, I just I love the overall feel of this tour. <laughs> and number two, we have. Tour. Okay, now the history tour, Michael's dancing is way better than his singing. Then Dangerous Tour, his singing is better than his dancing. Um, yeah. They're actually, and, they're, and those two are actually kind of a mashup of one of my favorite tours. Actually, my second, well, can't explain that well, but um, it's the history tour. Is that <clears throat> at more like you are not alone. Scream, and then I was then smooth criminal. It, the way that he, he um had a uh, gold pants instead of the white or uh, black pants or the dangerous tour leotard, the, or maybe the bad tour like belt. Well, uh, I felt like the golden trousers really matched with it, and I felt like it gave it a lot of character. So I feel like the History Tour had really good dancing in it. The History Tour, this, I love this tour. Now the vocals on this tour obviously are non-existent, he lip synced most of it. But I honestly can see why, you know, this tour was a very, very high maintenance. There was a lot of things going on. The rocket ship in the beginning, which is awesome, which leads into Scream. They don't care about us in the closet, remember the time, remember the time. When we started something, just a lot of really, really cool songs and um, tour moments in this tour. And overall, this tour is just amazing. And finally, at number one, we have... The Bad Tour. I love every single detail about the Bad Tour. I love the lighting, the costuming, the backup dancers, jiggies. Well, it's, it's it's like a mixture of the History Tour and the Dangerous Tour. Like a singing and is uh dancing are really good, but it's like a mixture. So I kind of like the Bad Tour, so that's why it's my favorite. And I love the leg belt that he wears. Um, I also have the Bad Tour leg belt, except mine is just homemade by my grandmother, but she did a really good job on it. But yes, I'm a really big fan of the Bad Tour. I've got the Bad Tour uh, uh, Eagle thing jigger, which I made it a sequin thing jigger. I got the Red I got the red Tour Bad shirt. Um, I have the Wanna Be Starting Something shirt. And yeah, I've got the uh, sunglasses. Well, I don't know if that's relevant, but um, yeah, I might. So that's why I'm, the Bad Tour is my favorite. What more can I say about the Bad Tour? I absolutely love this concert. I absolutely love this tour. And this tour really just made me appreciate Michael Jackson's dancing a whole lot more. It's also the tour that really got me into impersonating Michael Jackson, especially Wembley, whenever he does all the really cool moves. Um, B uh, Billie Jean is probably my favorite performance of all time um, that he did um, of Billie Jean. Really, really good. And the Bad Tour also features my all-time favorite song performance that he ever did, which was This Place Hotel Live at Wembley. I absolutely love that performance. Really, really cool. Makes me want to get up and dance every time I watch it. Yeah, really, really good tour. See so yeah, you guys, that's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Again, make sure to subscribe to Jacob Wells MJ. His channel is down below in the description. Thanks for letting me on the line, the smooth criminal. See you guys later. And yeah, overall, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, favor, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!